I am Dr. Aditi Prakash and I have done my MD radio diagnosis from Institute of Medical Sciences, Banaras Hindu University. I joined the college in the year 2018 and I passed it in the year 2021. Uh, thereafter, I also did a fellowship in magnetic resonance imaging from the same institute in the year 2021-22. to 22. Uh, Regarding the modalities that are available in BHU for radiology residency, so we have all modalities including X-ray, ultrasound, CT scan, MRI and also DSA is also available over there. The CT in BHU is on public private partnership mode but uh, the residents are posted there and it is the residents only who report all the cases. Uh, the technicians are from the private party but the reporting is done by the radiologists itself. Uh, the number of residents intake per year in BHU is uh, um, changes actually. Uh, at the time when I was there the number of residents intake was 8 residents per year but currently it is 10 residents per year. No bond is there in BHU because BHU is a central institute so you don't have to serve any bond after passing your MD. And uh, uh, the postings which are allotted to the residents in the first year it is mostly ultrasound posting. You are supposed to do uh, ultrasound in emergency and also the regular ultrasounds uh, the year when we post will be posted there and DSA posting will also be there. From the second year onwards you get hands on on CT and you can do uh, CT reportings. Um, MRI's uh, spine can be reported by JR2, uh, the second year residents they get to report MRI spine and DSA posting is there in second year also. From the third year onwards you have access to all the modalities and you will have your MRI posting, CT posting, ultrasound posting and DSA posting everything will be there. Um, but uh, having said that uh, in a BHU everything is very free and very open you can actually um, do anything for example uh, suppose you have ultrasound posting but you want to learn CT in your first year itself so after the evening hours when your duty gets over you are free to come to city and see the cases see what reports have been made so we use, also used to do that we used to go in the evening to CT or MRI and see the cases from our first year itself so it's very free nobody is going to stop you from, from learning anything in BHU the number of work hours is uh, almost 8 hours GRs are supposed to work 9 to 5 and sometimes there will also be emergency duty in which night duty is there and whoever, whichever resident is in for night duty they get a day off so work is not very hectic it is very cool uh, from ultrasound in ultrasound posting uh, the gr1 gr2 and sometimes gr3 is also posted the work is mostly supervised by gr3 itself because uh, there is a shortage of srs in bhu and uh, mostly in BHU everything uh, is done by JRs themselves so BHU is mainly a JR driven institute everything is done by the JR including biopsies including CT so you may call it an uh, advantage or maybe a disadvantage because since yeah, SRs are less in number so JR does everything but uh, um, SRs are not there to supervise also so it's both ways sometimes SRs can also get posted in ultrasound and uh, they are there to supervise. In CT all the cases are discussed by the consultants however the final report is supervised by the JR3 himself or herself. It is not uh, cross signed by any consultant. Uh, in MRI the since fellowship program is there in place in, MR, in MRI so all the reports are discussed by the consultant and they are also in most cases they are countersigned by the consultant also. Uh, the hands-on exposure to ultrasound is very good actually over there by the end of your second year residency you will be almost an expert in ultrasound you would have done so many ultrasounds and CT guided biopsy also it is the JR who does everything so you will be an expert um, by the end of your second year or third year residency and the academic environment is very good especially if you want to publish your research if you want to uh, pursue research the consultants are very friendly and very approachable they'll help you in all ways and you can get your papers published and uh, uh, regular classes are also being conducted including case presentations general club seminars so you get a lot of opportunities for, to excel in your academic activities hostels are average actually um, they are variable there are some new hostels uh, which are in good condition and but the old hostels are not up to the mark so it all depends on which type of hostel you are allotted since BHU is a very ancient institute I would say so various types of hostels are available and some of the old hostels are not that good but uh, 
the environment of the hostel is good like the warden and the support uh, staff the uh, cleaning staff and all those they are very helpful actually the even the mess staff i would um, i would say they are very helpful when you come there uh, when we are very new to the city they help you in every way in arranging your things and everything so they are very helpful uh, the drawbacks of uh, pursuing md radio diagnosis from ims bhu well uh, i don't know whether it is a drawback or it is an advantage but yes there is a shortage of srs most uh, there is requirement of srs on a regular basis but most of the srs would generally leave uh, the institute uh, midway so the srs are not there to supervise the work of jas but i think that can that proved an advantage for us because everything was done by we ourselves so it was made mostly jr driven and that's why we got a uh, lots of hands on on uh, city guided biopsy procedures which you generally do not get on the jr level in other colleges so and uh, varanasi as a place uh, it's uh, an awesome place and i definitely i assure that uh, once you stay in this place for 2 to 3 years you will be uh, be in love with this place so it's an awesome place and can really uh, bring a new change dimension uh, it can add a new dimension to your life so that's all from my side and uh, bhu is a great place to be i'm uh, i'm proud to be a part of um, bhu alumni thank you